Today I wanted to get at a concept that is the basis of many questions that I see about MATLAB. Lots of times people want to concatenate strings together in MATLAB to make a title, to make a file name, or something else of that nature, but they don't know how to do it when they want to put a MATLAB variable in that string. So what I'm going to show today is this simple example of how we were able to make the titles on this plot so that they have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 all built into them. This is done through concatenating of strings. Let's take a look at the code. Not surprisingly, this is just done in a for loop. And we're setting up the subplot, doing the membrane, and using that mode shape to use as an input for membrane. And then the point of what we're getting at here is making up that title string. The way we do that is this is going to be a row vector of characters. And so we're just going to add them together by putting them inside of some brackets, just like you would with numbers. So we spell out mode number, and then we're going to add mode shape, but it's a number right now. If we just tried to concatenate a string with a number, that wouldn't work. So we run it through a quick command, num to string. So now we'll have a string version of that number. Once we have that string, we can feed it into title to get that as the title. You can use the same technique for making up file names and so on. One thing I would caution against is people very often want to do this kind of technique to make a series of variables like A1, A2, A3, but this causes more trouble than it's worth because then they will end up having to figure out, well, how do I call a variable like that and they have to use a val statements and so on. So I would not use this technique to make a series of variables like that. I would find a better way of structuring my data so that I don't have to do that kind of technique. Cell arrays are very often the correct thing to do there.